Hello my quilting family. We're here today to start block one and two of our coffee themed sew along. And the cup here is is just very simple. This this cup, <laughs> I don't know which way I'm going here. This cup can be both block one and block two. So it's because of the versatility of this pattern. I went and I looked in my own coffee mug cupboard and I found for base for starters, two different kinds of coffee mugs. One that goes kind of curves in, like the block here beside beside me, and the other one that goes straight down. So we have two different mugs, and remember, play scrappy. Go whatever colors you want. I know the mugs are white, but I mean we can play around with them quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is what we're going to need is some fun fabric. We're gonna need fun fabric. My stuff is all coffee bean and coffee themed fabric, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can pull out your scraps and just make coffee mugs. It's fine. Whatever you choose to do is going to look great. The I've chosen for the mug, my mug, these prints, uh, a really cute little uh, white with little brown coffee beans, uh, black, and a red print out of this, the fabric my friend Marilyn sent me from Nancy's Notion. And I also cut from my stash the background fabric, which I'm going to use a brown, brown on brown coffee bean with two and a half inch strips, a two inch strip and a one and a half inch strip. So come and um, We'll, we'll take a good uh, deeper look at this and I'll show, give you all the cutting instructions below, but I want you to see how I'm cutting this all up. Okay, meet me, meet me right here and get a little closer. Okay, for what we're gonna need to do to cut out this block is we're going to need three background strips at one and a half, two inch, and two and a half. And these are with the fabric. Right? We're not probably not going to use it all, but we're going to make a big dent in it. So we're going to cut that next, or after we cut our colors. And we'll need three different colors of fabric, right? Whatever you choose. Now I'm going to cut two at a time. So I also need a ruler, a klutz gov, because I'm finally healed up, and a rotary cutter. So let's get this all lined up. So we're going to line up with the salvages, and I'm cutting them two, uh, two at a time. All right, so, okay. Here. And what I'm going to do is just line them up. I like the fact that Nancy's Notion there doesn't have, um, they're not pinked edges on their jelly roll strips or jelly roll blocks. So you kind of want to line this up on the selvage so that you can see the lines on your ruler like right across the top and the bottom. That way you know you're going to be cutting it straight. And let's see. I can't get in here a little bit better. There we go. There. So, okay. Now, for this first cut we're going to need we're going to need a four and a half inch cut. So what you want to do is you want to line up your, your ruler with a four and a half inches right at the edge that you just cut and then cut across straight and across straight. Like you don't want to be cook, cutting like this at an angle. You want to be just as straight as you possibly can. And then you make your first cut. Now this is going to cut two bodies of a cup, what I just did here, right? But we're going to line them up. And then the next cut, you choose one of them to be your bottom. And that's going to be a four and a half as well. So again, you want to make sure, kind of think of it like every all the lines have to line up. Now I know there might be a little bit of uh, uh, difference on the screen. But when you're looking straight down at this, everything lines up. Like it lines up like a C. Right? So if you can't have your C, you don't make your cut. Now that one is, okay, I believe 
that one gets cut at one and a half by four and a half. Now that, this part here that I'm cutting off, I'll throw into my string bin so it won't go to waste. And the next cut now, you're going to work on the handle. We're working on the handle. So let's take other ones here. Uh, okay, oops, just a minute here. Let me get lined up. And no, I'm not going to be making a cut without my klutz glove or my anti-cut glove. Okay. You might have to line that up just a bit. Okay. Just to get it all lined up. Okay, so it's one and a half by one and a half. And remember, we're, we've got all the, the measurements in the show notes. One and a half by one and a half. There we go. So I got two different one and a halves. And then I need a 4.5 and a one and a half. Oh, I have that already. If I just do this, I have that. I have that cut here because there's two of them. So I don't have to make that cut. Isn't that, that, that's great. Okay, now let's get the background done. I need two. Oh, I like a different background, an unexpected background. These dark browns. You know, you can, you can have a lot of fun with them, you know, if they're unexpected. There we go. Pitch that off. Okay. Now the first background we are going to need at one and a half by two and a half, which is there. Okay. If this was directional fabric, which it's not, because basically this brown is going to read like a polka dot. You know, you would you would have to cut it differently and then cut it the other way. But we're not going to worry about that for this. You need four one and a half by one and a half inch squares. So there's two. Oh wait, what am I doing here? Let's go here. Let's do this. Let's do this the smart way. Let's use the one and a half inch strip that I cut. Here we go. We need four of them, they're one and a half inch squares. There's two at a time, we're cutting two at a time. And then, uh, uh, oops, just one, two and a half inch square. We're we lining everything up. And then another one at, oh, two by seven. I need two of them, or one of them, one of them. Two by, oops, 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 oops. This Klutz glove actually is hard to hold on to fabric. Makes it rather tough to hold on to it. There we go, line that one up. It's a two inch strip. Get my salvage off. My sister, my little sister keeps saying I should give a, a video a video on uh, rotary cutter safety. And it's a seven and a half. And the last one is at nine and a half. Okay, I need two of them. Okay, there we go. Nine and a half. Because this block is going to end up with nine and a half. So, that's all the cutting that we've done. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to lay it all out on a design board so that you can see what's going to happen here. Okay, so here we go. Here's our design board. We're going to start with... Um, oh, here it is. Um, I haven't got that cut down the middle. Oh, I cut the wrong end. Oh, well. Here, hang on. I went the other way. Oof. Okay. 
I have the strength in my hands to cut the one inch stuff or the like one layer stuff but not for the heavier stuff so now I'm going to take this one and this one I guess I should start with the where I'm going to lay these out so I'm just going to go like this on the bottom this one is the handle on the side and um, so we're going to put this down, this down, and this down. Okay, there we go. And you kind of line them up. So you're going to have this coffee thing going on, and it's going to be more like this as you're lining them up because you're going to, you have to make a, a coffee handle, right? So now it's this one and then you're going to have an add-on here basically this add-on is a flip and sew or flip and stitch triangle and another one here and then two more down here and then you're going to have uh there well, i'll use a, a bright one here we go like this and like this and then this and then this now that doesn't look like it's all going to sew together, right? But this becomes your coffee mug. Okay, so it's kind of like you'll take your handle first and you'll sew all that together. So you'll take this part and this part together. You'll sew this together. And then you'll sew this side, all this side together. Then all of these together. Then you sew those two together. And then you'd sew this to the, the bigger square and then these to the other square right you follow so these are just like the the stitch it down and flip it over and as long as you're when you're you're stitching you're you know you're doing a relatively good job with your quarter inch foot it shouldn't be bad and I think we've done add-ons before so if um, if you're confused about how to do a flip and stitch uh, corner or something, put it, please put it in the show notes. We'll show you how to do that. And uh, yeah, I'll be back once I finish sewing the block. Okay, we're back from the sewing machine and I want to show you the blocks I made. I made the one with the rounded bottom, just like our mock-up mock -up block here. Oh dear, I, okay. I keep going the wrong way. So I, I made one of those, and then I made the one where it's a straight angle. So basically this pattern, you can make two different blocks. Now, I color coordinated these, but they're going to be on opposite ends of the quilt. So that's fine, but you're going to need like four of each of them, right? But just go crazy with the colors. Put whatever colors you want to put together in there. It's fine. It'll look lovely. Now... Uh, the other thing, I want to show you the back. I found that when, as I was doing this, I need, needed to press my seams open because the block actually laid flatter, especially in the area of the handle here where there's lots of little seams. And I'm just going to get my cameraman to show this just a little bit closer for you. <sighs> yeah, the, the handles... The handle creates bulk because of all those seams, so the, way to, the best way to eliminate bulk is to iron them open. And then around the outside frame, I just pressed this way. I just pressed out to the frame. So that's okay. And of course we had to do a little bit of fussy cutting because it was there and I just I couldn't resist. I just couldn't resist it. So if you need um, help on fussy cutting or in what they call it now, intentional cutting, uh, let us know in the show notes below. We'll we'll give you a tutorial on that. But if you're sewing along with me, you're going to need four of each of these. And then next week we'll bring in another new block. Okay? So I hope you have a great time sewing these. It's going to be great. But yes, this is my anti-cut glove. Now I don't as some of you might know, I severely cut my index finger on my left hand. I ended up with nine stitches and it hurt so bad I passed out and got a concussion and was rushed to hospital by an ambulance. It was not a fun thing. So now what I'm trying to do is make sure that I'm wearing it. I can cut 
with like just one layer of fabric without too much issue but this is you know for pressure this the to to press down if you're doing more than one layer so i'm finding this quite a godsend um it is a chef's or culinary anti-cut glove so i don't know if it's better than the ones that are made for quilting or whatever my husband got it he did all the research so it's all good but these blocks do measure nine and a half okay uh I just got a note. It's a Category 6 anti-cut glove from uh, Culinary. So this is what I'm using. Now that I can actually put my hand in there with my fingers. These blocks do measure 9.5 square. So they'll finish perfectly in our, in our uh, quilt. So you got to make some more, more blocks. And I hope to see you back next week for another coffee cup mug block. Okay, bye. Have a great week. If you have questions about what you saw in this video or you have ideas for content or something you want to see us do, please put those comments in the description below. But also while you're there, like, share and subscribe with your friends. That would really help us out. Okay, I want to thank you and have a great day.